Hey everyone, how's it going? Robert of Hellshire Productions here. And as you can see, I finally was able to set up my webcam. It's not to its full extent that I want it yet because I still don't have a mic. So right now my webcam is my mic, so my webcam is a lot closer than I would like it to be. If that makes sense. And also if you've noticed, uh, I don't know, no, you won't notice it yet. But once the video starts, because obviously if you can tell by the title, it's in Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. But I wanted to show this little, I'm um, do this little intro because I wanted to tell you that there's going to be a couple changes to the layout. Um, I'm going to be adding a face cam to the Let's Play. And also I'm going to be trying to add a backdrop to it so I could fit the webcam and the video into it without having to overlap the two. So I'm going to put it into a background and then most likely the picture is going to be uh, the same picture that I use as a thumbnail for the, all the videos. So if you see that when the video is up, that means I was successfully able to do it. If not, then you, I wasn't able to figure it out. And inclusion, something around like here or here when the video, when the Let's Play video starts that way or that way, one of the two. It's going to be on one of my sides and then above me. There will be open space for me to write other facts about whatever the fuck. Alright, but I've done enough talking. Let's jump into it. Alright, here we are. Chapter 4. In Occupation Shed. Let's do this. After the the bandits live. The bandits. Lynn continues westward. She and her colleagues stop for the night at a ruined fortress. The Ganelon bandits are in a rage after the blood from Lynn's souls. They face in pursuit of their companions. Of the companion, their angry footsteps sound closer and closer. And now you get to see what I look like when I'm voice acting. I can't even see my fucking video. My fucking webcam. I got my voice. Let's go. Ah, this should suffice. Tonight's bet. This mildly old fortress? Who is the. Is this the best we can do? Come, Will. Surely you jest. The bandits keep everything in turmoil. No one has time to worry about travels. And there are rather lots of us. This will be fine. Who wants to be stuck inside anyway? I prefer a place where I can feel the wind. As long as I'm at the inside, I'll be fine. And for your protection, your men at arms say will be right here by your side, ladies. Saying, both you and I are to remain awake. We will alternate the watch. Ah, alas. <laughs> How fucking sane. God damn it, sane. Oh god, another female voice. I fucking hate female voices. I have very few of them. Very few. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm sorry if a lot of the females sound the same. My apologies. Your pardon, my lady. Who, who's there? Hi. Forgive my intrusion. My name is Natalie. I'm from a village not far from here. Ah, um, are you all right? Hmm, your leg. It's fine, don't worry. It's from a childhood sickness. <clears throat> ah. I can't travel far on it, but it does, but it doesn't trouble, trouble me much. Are you going here all by yourself? Yeah, the, the voices sound almost fucking identical. I'm sorry. I don't have many female voices. I'll try and get some other co-commentators on and that can do female voices. I, don't, I can't do female. I'm sorry, but I'll keep trying. I'm looking for my husband. I heard he was in this area. He said he was going to raise money to have my leg mended. He left the village and hasn't returned. He's a kind-hearted man, but... I think he might be involved in something dangerous. I got so worried. Here's a sketch of him. It's a poor likeness at best, but 
His name is Dorcas. Do you know of him? I'm sorry. I do not believe I have seen or heard of him. I see. <clears throat> if you do meet him, please give him a message. Tell him that Natalie is looking for him. I will tell him. I promise. Finally tracked him down. Tracked down the bandit. So you've decided to pull, to pull up this ruined fortress. Perfect. We'll wait until it gets dark, and then you are an idiot. There are only a few of them, and some of them, some are women. We attack them at night. I'd be a laughing stock. Besides, we might hurt the woman by mistake. You're right, Karjigal? Karjiga? You're so smart. I will, I'll avenge Miggle and get some pretty souvenirs to boot. Who knows, maybe I'll be, I'll be a leader after all. <laughs> Let's go. Spread out and encircle the place, you rogues. And finish this before it gets too dark to see. Holy shit, they Hey, look. Hey, you. Your name's Dorcas, right? Do we know a Dorcas? Heard of one? You haven't done much since you joined us. Those weapons of yours are just for show. Today's the day you let us see what you can do. I want you to attack from the back entrance to the east. There's supposed to be a woman inside. I want you to capture her. Do that and I'll increase your share of the tape. If you want the gold, get the job done. Lady Lindy's, outside the fortress, bandits. What did you say? Persistent by Jonathan. What do you think? Shall we go out to face them? No. Natalie cannot move her. We will put her in danger. Let, let them come to us. We'll fight here within the fortress. Right, take over. Command is Come on it. Let's do this. All we have to do is hold out until, we, until they tire and leave. Rest easy, Natalie. No one will harm Listen, everyone. Fight with caution. Right. Yo. This fortress has two entrances. I'll take the eastern one. Robert, the man over there. Doesn't he resemble a picture of Natalie's husband? Or shadow. Yes. Here's the fortress. You, you 
you get right. You get right. I put him there because so he'll attract most of the game because he's the strongest one I have seen. Kent is just fucking slaughtering him. Honestly, I'm thinking about sending Kent in. That's you know. that she came looking for you. Think, Dorcas. Would your actions please your wife? You're right. Well, I understand. I can do this. I'm done with you, Ben. Here and now. Really? Yes. And I will pay you for your kindness for now. Allow me to fight for you. Alright. Now we got Dorcas. A man from a small village in Burke fights for his wife. Keep doing what you're doing, Will. 
that breaks through the heavens! Come 
on, Lin. Give me some strength to work with. Come on, Lin. I was getting a little dicey there. to live.
spoken rap. Yeah, he's all good. I've, I've decided I've been invited to join the crew. He's good. Things have finally calmed down. We'll continue to take a turn keeping watch. Please rest you. Is that alright? Are you sure, Sam? Oh, er, yes, of course! Let me warn you. If I need to sneak up, I cut you down with one Do you understand that? What? Do you doubt my bravery? Am I not a knight? There is no need to worry. Right, Kent? If there is anything suspicious, we'll take care of it. Rest the ship. Really? Well, good night, then. See you tomorrow, Robert. Deuces. Let's go. No, why the fuck did I just give him Lin's voice? Ha! No one ever trusts me. And there we go. End of chapter four. I hope you all have enjoyed. And tell me what you guys think of the new layout and everything. Well, this has been Robert, and this has been Hellshire Productions. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and take care.